Hello, my name is Terry, and I'd like to share this video with you about private educational loans. These are loans that are generally borrowed in the student's name with a credit worthy co-signer, although some private lenders also offer a parent educational loan in the parent's name. Uh, when reviewing these loans, we caution you to compare the loan criteria so that you are learning all about the loan um, uh, as UVM does not promote or endorse any private loan lenders. You may borrow up to the cost of attendance less any other financial aid offers that you are accepting. To begin, we're going to look at our billing estimator, which is on our webpage, uvm.edu forward slash SFS. And then from the payments option page, you would see the billing estimator. So first we need to establish the amount that you would need to borrow. Um, after you review for your scholarships and grants, your cost of attendance, um, and deducting for a direct student loan. In this example, I have an out-of-state residential student uh, removing for grants and scholarships and the direct loan, leaving a balance due for the year of $23,836. If you borrow a loan for the full academic year, it will be paid to your student account half for the fall semester and then a spring disbursement for the spring billing. On our webpage, Private Educational Loans, there is a tool where you can compare loans. It is called Elm Select and you would locate it under this find your lender section. Open this caret here to expand the page and you'll see the link to the tool. So when you are shopping for a loan, there's also a section on our web page about uh, being an informed borrower. You want to review what the interest rate is on the loan. Is it a fixed rate or a variable rate? what will be the maximum on that variable rate? What is the range of interest rates um, that the credit rating is based upon? Um, what is the best rate you could receive is, is where you wanna get to. Um, are there payments required while I'm in school? May I defer repayment when I, uh, if I'm gonna consider graduate school? And how long will I have to repay the loan? All good questions to consider when borrowing this type of a loan. So as I said, Elm Select is a comparison tool. You would access it on the website. Um, if you click on the link, you would select your program, undergraduate, and that will show you a list of lenders that other UVM students have borrowed from. There are various types of loans. Um, you can choose view to see the loan in more detail, and then you can see more information about each um, loan option under that lender's name. If you wish, you could use the calculate to use the loan estimator to see what your monthly payment would be based on what you fill in as the amount you wish to borrow. You can compare up to four lenders side by side, which I highly recommend. It gets a little confusing on, you know, which interest rate was this one? Uh, what was the criteria? What was the repayment period? Um, I like to say put it apples to apples side by side so that you can make your best decision. Now, how the loan is processed. So you would apply for the loan online, select a cosigner as appropriate. The cosigner would also fill in their information and apply for the loan. When the loan is um, 
approved by the lender, it's electronically sent to the university here into our office and we will certify um, the amount that you wish to borrow certifying that it fits into your budget for this academic year or for the semester that you've chosen to borrow the loan if you choose to borrow only for the fall semester or only for the spring semester the total of all your financial aid cannot exceed the cost of attendance budget, um, which includes all your expenses as a student for the year. Once the loan is certified by UVM and sent back to the lender, that loan is then listed as pending aid on your student account statement to help clear your bill. And a disbursement date is set. Um, to pay that loan with a 10-day right of refusal. It gives you the opportunity to have 10 days to decide if you really do wish to borrow this loan before the loan is electronically paid to UVM and applied to your student account. Now, if that loan does overpay your account, which it may, um, if you are living off campus in your later years at the university um, and using a loan to help pay your rent expense, though the, your room is not charged to your account, but you're eligible to borrow for your living expenses. So the, the bill that you have on your student account is less than your um, financial aid which causes a credit on your account. So when that private loan comes in and overpays your account, a refund can be issued to the student. Um, and refunds are directly deposited to the student's bank account that is on file. So it's important to set up that direct deposit with our office as well. Well, I hope this information was helpful to you today. Um, please know that we're here to help. Um, so if you have questions about this, um, this loan opportunity or other financing or a combination of different types of payments, um, please give us a call, email us. We are open from 10 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. Um, we're here all summer and throughout the academic year. So thanks very much and have a great day.